um, to talk about board, different board styles I've seen. Um, you know, making the background that like gray, putting in the grid. Um, you don't even need to fill in the character with a white if the background's light like that. Um, you can fill it in with white. You can add a soft focus as well. That can add some depth to the shot. Um, sometimes it, if it's a scary scene or if, uh, you know, you're trying to add tension or something, you might want to add some light and tone makes it all more cinematic. It adds time though to your board. So you could turn in a board and it looks like this, but maybe there's just one really scary moment and you can add in the tone for that. Um, and uh, a lot of times I'll, I'll think in shapes first, just because uh, that's how the, the background designers think of it. Like you, you don't want to be thinking about the details of the bush. You want to think of how it blocks out your shot. You don't want to think about leaves. You want to think about that big shape that will create the composition. Um, here's a, another one for, I've seen in a lot of action shows where it'll just be, you know, Tron grids, indication of architecture with perspective. You always need perspective, but a uh, fill in with yellow. And the yellow will help you track really quick action. Um, you could go, uh, you know, super wide. But, <laughs> you know, the two characters are fighting in the distance and they're that big. But because I added in that little yellow, like, I know who is who, <laughs> even if it's that tiny. So it's all for tracking purposes and clarity. So yeah, uh, more storyboard pro tips. Use the soft brush, tad tone. That's um, to the right, soft brush. And then I'll eat into it and I'll have um, fun little grad things that I can play with. And that can really add a lot to adding mood and, and interest to your shots. Like this shot isn't that interesting without the light. <laughs> the light's on, <laughs> the light's off. It's kind of a boring shot. What makes this shot interesting is, is all that lighting. So if that's part of the story, you should include it. I think, especially in your portfolio, maybe the, um, whatever production you move on might think of it in a different way, but you, you should include lighting if it's important to the story. Like here, you can see it, you can do some pretty fun, crazy stuff with it. Like here I grabbed, you know, these, cut it, cut it out, and then I just copied. Oh yeah, that that's a pretty good hockey. I'm like thinking of all my hockeys now. Um, yeah, control and drag, I use that a lot. You're just copying um, stuff over. Oh yeah, so effects, I like to think of effects as shape design. Um, you can draw line art, like that's my explosion. Um, adding tone though will make it a lot quicker. And then lots of times what I do is I'll just draw like a, a you know, I'll make a new layer. I'll quickly draw something out like that. And then maybe I'll make another layer on top and then that, and then maybe I'll make another layer. That could be my smoke. Like that, that's how I think about this stuff in layers. Then maybe I'll merge it all. And then, uh, yeah, I'll use like a fat, fat brush. I won't spend a lot of time on it because some um, someone will design it. But I'll do stuff like that because it's like, how do you draw fire? There's no lines for it, really. I mean, you can, but um, it's a source of light. So it doesn't, uh, I don't know, it's pretty graphic if you draw like that. Um, again, depends on the show. So yeah, like here, here's a few things like a I'm always having to draw a laser blast. So I'll just use the standard blue. 
and then um, maybe put a white thing inside a fill well that's not right but yeah and it, it's pretty quick and you get a I don't know good good shape uh, yeah here's here's how I do lightning um, I'll use a really fat brush Something like that and um, you just you don't want to think about it too much you just draw it out and then uh, the interior the lightning's hot so I'll use my soft brush draw behind it oh, just a cool way to do lightning quick and it looks pretty decent Again, like uh, adding lens flares and stuff can really add a little flavor to your boards. Here I have the three different elements of a lens flare, and then I combine them together. Here's just some fun shots too, to get you thinking outside of the box. Um, here's a character coming forward, and then they flip. So a character is going in front of a light source. I didn't add any of that information here, but Generate an automat. Cool. Here's a character leaping forward. Normally, normally I wouldn't do it this way, but for the sake of speed. Cool. I'll just copy that and then paste it. I know how it, how it should animate. So I'll grab them and then grab it again. And I can move the vanishing point down here and hold shift and alt and he'll um, grow based on that anchor point. So um, I'll use that a lot. Yeah. So as the person comes up here and goes uh, behind the sun, I could make them a lighter gray beforehand because the, the stronger the light source behind them, the more dark he'd become. And uh, to look at my keyframes, you can see I have my camera position A and B. And I, I added, uh, I made the camera go up a little bit higher so that f goes up with him, and then it, you can feel it curve down with him. So it's kind of following the arc of, of this character. Um, here's, an, <laughs> here's another one where uh, just a cool shot, like you can think of POV shots and maybe the camera is the, the character taking a step back. Um, and again, I, I just added that those camera positions and I had the arc go up higher and then go back down. So it feels like there's a step being taken. I added the hand as a foreground element. Um, just that you can do some pretty creative stuff with the camera. Uh, here, I like this one, this dog is in love. And if I added a sound effect here, it would feel like, you know, a heartbeat. Boom, 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 boom. You can do a lot with the camera. So just, just a few fun things there for you to think about. Uh, yeah.